Hi, this is Phil from TeachBlend and today we're going to look at Microsoft's screen recording capabilities within PowerPoint. So this is a real simple way of recording your presentations and your screen to provide remote lessons and remote lecturing. It's real simple and it doesn't mean that you have to spend a lot of money on software and extra resources. It's all built within PowerPoint. So let's have a look at how we can use Microsoft Screen Recorder to provide remote lessons. So as you can see here, I've got a presentation that I want to go through with students, but I'm going to actually want to record this presentation so that I can discuss this with them. Now what you can do is you can do what's called screen recording in PowerPoint directly by clicking insert media screen recording. And that will put a screen recorder directly onto the presentation. But here's a top tip. If you have your presentation available, what I would do is open up a new PowerPoint so that you do the recording on that presentation instead. So you click on insert first. Once you've clicked insert, you then need to go to media and then choose screen recording. And this will open up a fully fledged screen recorder that you can use to record your screen and present to students. I'm going to go back now to my presentation and actually then put this in the PowerPoint. So what I'm going to do is drag over and make the full screen the presentation. You could choose a little bit if you wanted to, and this will capture the full screen. Then what I'm going to do is present this presentation in PowerPoint. I'm then going to click record in a second. So just click record here and then this will record the, the entire presentation as well as my voice as I'm going over using the screen capturing in PowerPoint. So as you can see, what I could do is I could talk over this and explain to students what they need to do or any help or support. Once this is done, I then go back into the recorder and click stop. And this will put a video onto the blank presentation of that PowerPoint. I might also want to actually record the actual screen itself, for example, a website. So I'm going to click insert media again and screen recording. And this time I'm just going to select my desktop. But what you can do is you can use this just to record pretty much anything. So here I'm going to open up Microsoft Edge and I'm just going to go onto a website and let's say just our Office 365 portal. I could even go on to like Flipgrid or something along them lines and I can actually record this as well. Once that is done and I've clicked record, it will put this into the PowerPoint as well. Let's have a quick look at what this looks like. So I'm going to click stop now. And as you can see, it's putting the other video into the PowerPoint that could then be played back. What's really useful with this feature, however, is you can export. So here, look, you can see I've gone back to my video and clicked edit. And you can see that I can edit the style and trim. But I can also save media as. And this is absolutely essential because you can save this as a video and then upload this to, for example, your OneDrive or you could upload it to your Microsoft Team, Google Classroom, whatever you need to, to actually provide that to the students. And it's a fully fledged video then that can be uploaded. I hope you found this useful. Please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend.